at Safran Helicopter Engine. We want to lead the decarbonization of the vertical lift propulsion industry. Our ambition is to reach 50% CO2 decrease by 2030. Our strategy relies on three pillars. Gas turbine efficiency with significant fuel saving, sustainable aviation fuel from 50% blend already certified up to 100%, and hybridization. We strongly believe that the efficient combination of thermal and electrical source is the future of propulsion. We are currently testing different hybridization concepts using state-of-the-art testbed facilities. Our goal is to master the full process from the feasibility study up to the flight test, including this ground test here in Safran Board. Micro-hybridization is the first building block of our hybridization strategy with a concept uh, called EcoMod. We are currently under final validation on this concept, which is dedicated to twin-engine helicopters. We target to flight with Airbus helicopter on the racer platform very soon. So basically, this is based on an existing core engine equipped with an innovative electrical motor. During the flight, the pilot can pause the engine and operate only on one engine on the best operating point, inducing fuel saving or end with additional mission range. Hybridization appears when you need to restore the pause engine. In case of landing, in case of failure of the active engine, in that context, you have to reactivate very rapidly, automatically, transparently for the pilot, this pause engine. Parallel hybridization for single-engine helicopter application is the second building block of our roadmap. It allows to significantly improve the safety margin of the helicopter. In case of in-flight shutdown of a gas turbine, the remaining electrical motor allows to fly during several minutes and to land in a safe area. There is another derivative benefit based on the possibility to assist the gas turbine during transient maneuvers either acceleration or deceleration, reducing the wear of the gas turbine and then inducing maintenance cost benefits. We have uh, ground tested this concept here in board and the next step is to fly on a helicopter with a, a strong challenge on the sizing and the installation of the different equipment. The second family are for disruptive architectures using multi-rotor systems for either vertical lift or for fixed wing application too. In this case, we talk about turbo generator and distributed propulsion. For VTOL and STOL with multiple rotor concepts, the propulsion system relies on different subsystems. First of all, the energy supply based on the turbo generator fed by fuel and a tank, and a battery. Then we need a power management system combining the energy coming from both the gas turbine, turbo generator, we say, and the battery. Then we need to distribute and to protect the power which is generating by these two sources. And at the end, we need a propulsive effector with electrified propeller, e-propeller, that allow to give thrust or control to the aircraft. For turbo generator, we are currently testing a 300 kilowatt system, which is made of turbo machinery combined with an electrical motor. We plan to fly it very soon with this gas turbine modified into turbo generator, knowing that this component is an enabler for these very disruptive aircraft architectures. In summary, hybridization for vertical lift or fixed wing can be done through different concepts, but with always the same goals, improve safety, improve performance, and reduce our environmental footprint. So see you very soon for the flight test.